Um, pretty much both been here from the beginning. Yeah. So, um, I used to go to college with a lot of Kyle's friends, um, and then they told me about gigs that were starting to happen, so I joined in with it, and then my dreams were born. We're generic volunteers, but we are specifically vocal coaches, so we have a certain amount of students each, and weekly we encourage them, and go through exercises and songs yeah. with them. Yeah, yeah, we do that on a rare occasion. <laughs> <clears throat> so yeah, it's about confidence exactly. building and personality building yes. and talent building. And we've now got like mini-me's running around the building. Yeah, you can tell these students are here yeah. to start to act like them or they run away from them. The influences, <laughs> my grand's are specifically. Not just saying that he's my favourite family member or nothing, but uh, divas and family friends. Three biggest influences. I've got some of Granda because he's got me into singing. Um, and he's got a beautiful voice, but he won't ever sing with me. What's for that? He's trying to like secretly film him, but it just doesn't happen. I think we need to have words with Granda. No. Should he mention his angelic voice? He's, he's, he, he even whistles good. <laughs> like, you know, when you hear him whistle, you're like, you can sing. I know you can sing. And I'm not even there, yet. That's what he's like. Can you whistle? I can. I can't. So. <laughs> Mine's like that one last phrase. <laughs> Sorry, my friend can't click. So, any kind of big diva ish voice, like your Mariah Carey, Whitney, Celine Dion, he's supposed to do like that. And just before I started playing guitar, I used to listen to a lot of Eva Cassidy, and I still do. Um, and I'd say my third biggest influence is my family and friends, as cheesy as that is, because without them, I wouldn't be here. Um, Ian sat me down and went, will you come on our record label? And I went, <laughs> and then I kind of walked away, and then a week later he asked me again, and I went, show me the contract sat down and had the contract and I went, come then, I'll be your buddy, label buddy. You weren't even the first one on. I know, I wasn't even the first one on. Were you offended? I was. I think that's why I went, the first time around, but they'd already signed it on the run. I think Matty was signed first. Then I must in paradise. They were gutted as well that Matty was first. Yeah. yeah. I know. I think I've been here the longest. I'm like part of the furniture. I think Louis and John nearly cried. <laughs> you see that sound before me. Yeah. yeah. So I read the contract and I thought, what a better place to start than the place it all started. Do you want to explain who Ian is and what Red Dream <laughs> does, just in case Ian people don't know? Ian is um, one of the founders of Red Dreams. He was Kyle's dad. But we also like to think of him as a crazy uncle. Because he's not, oh, he's not all up there, is he? No. He's like a big bear. He's just kind a of go, big kid, isn't he? Oh, you I haven't thought that through. Half the time. A lot of the time. He's a big kid. He said to me the other day on, like, we were chatting, and he's like, met you when you were 17, and you remember laughing, and you still haven't changed one bit, or grew up. And I was like, yeah, I can say the same for you. <laughs> Pretty much. So that's who Ian is. Big, crazy, grizzly bear. Yeah, his bear hugs are not even that good either. You don't even get a bear hug. We get, like, fireman's lifts. I think it's more like a rugby tackle into yeah. a fireman's lift. Oh, shaky pillow like this. And then intern. Yeah. Interning is where the interns and Ian like to push me up a corridor on a wheelie chair at top speed and make me cry a little bit. I've still not been intern. I'm quite lucky. 